Live. This is Kuejo here, elementary Chinese, bringing you the everyday language you need to communicate what you want. And this is a little recap. I just went live in my everyday Chinese WeChat group. If you want more info about that, leave a comment, send me a message, and I will share with you how to get in that group. So, you know, interestingly enough, today in elementary Chinese, we're talking about transportation. And so here's some things that came up. The word for bus is gong gong qi che, right? Public car. But actually, you don't need to say that. You can just say gong jiao che, and you'll be all right. The word for car, just so you know, is qi che. And another word that came up, chu zu che. Chu means out, zu means rent, and che means car. So rent out car, out rent car, that's taxi. Now, somebody asked, when you're calling a Didi, because we all use the app Didi Chuxing, it's like the Chinese Uber. I'm live, but I can't see you guys chatting, so I'm just going to talk a bit. Um, you don't say call. The word for call is da dian huan. You don't say I'm going to call a Didi like that. You just say, well, jiao yi ge. I want to call one. You use the word for call like my name is, wo jiao. Kuijo. My name's Kuijo. Well, Jiao Kuijo. I call Kuijo. My name's Kuijo. If I want a Didi, if I want to get this Chinese Uber, because in Uber in China, Didi Chuxing took over Uber. Um, you can say Well, Jiao Didi. I'm calling a Didi. Um, yeah, it's weird how you don't say Da Dian Hua like make a phone call. I see two of you guys. I wish I could see what you're saying. But I can't see what you're saying at all. So sad. Let's keep going. What else did we talk about today? If you're waiting for a DD and they call you, that is like the worst thing. And I'm going to do a series on that on Instagram. Uh, elementary Chinese, if you don't follow me on Instagram yet. But you can say, I'm at wherever. 我在 is I'm at. 我在超市. I'm at the supermarket. 超市 is supermarket. You can say, I'm looking at my monitor up here, just so you know. There it is, wow. All right, you can say, um, Bian Li Dian is a convenience store. Wo zai Bian Li Dian. Wo zai is I'm at Bian Li Dian, a convenience store. 7-Elevens, they do have them here in Tianjin, where I live. Don't know about where you live, but those are called Qi Dian. Wo zai Qi Dian. I'm at 7-Eleven. Wo zai Qi Dian. It was a good live call. What I wish for my birthday, which is July 30th, is um, that I could do a live YouTube call. Would that work for you guys? And there could be like 500 people there. That would be pretty cool. But what should I teach you guys on a live call? Or should it just be an ask, an ask, an ask me anything? kind of life call. I mean, I've been in China for 10 years, learned Chinese most of that time. I still study by myself. I'm getting on YouTube to see if I can actually see myself talking. So the rest of the week, the rest of the, there I am, so weird. The rest of the recap, my gosh. What else did we learn? Chouyin is to smoke, okay? Um, they asked for the word for like cigarette tobacco shop. That is, ooh, that's bad. That is yin or yin jiu dian. Uh, smoke. Yin jiu is alcohol and dian. That would be a uh, store. So yin jiu dian is the, the cigarette store, the store where they sell cigarettes and alcohol. I don't drink if you want to know something about me. Um, you can't just say jiu dian. Dian is store, right? And jiu is alcohol. If you say jiu dian, you're talking about a hotel and not a place where you can get smokes. Hey, I'm actually looking on YouTube now. So if you want to ask me a question really quick, type a question and I'll respond. Wish I could see who's watching. I just see if there's three of you. And that's pretty cool. Lamont, how do I learn to listen to native speakers? Ah. Oh. Lamont, you are so right. Let me tell you what I did really quick. I started by listening to 
Um, when I studied abroad in Beijing for two years, I had a Ting Li class, a listening class. And what I did is outside of that class, I listened to the tapes and looked at the words. Anytime you can listen to faster, normal speech, but be able to look at the words, that'll help. Even, yes, even if it's the beginning of your Mandarin adventure and you don't quite understand anything, listen, because you're training your ear to hear. So number one, listen to faster speech, almost native speech as you can. Look at those words. Lamont, if you're here in China, then what you can do is take out your iPhone or Android and record a conversation in public. I think they'll be okay with it. You know, do it on the sly if you have to. Um, I frequently like to hold my phone right here to my chest and secretly record folks, especially to learn and teach. And then play that back later on. If you have a tutor, play it with your tutor. Um, but I bet if you've been studying Chinese for a while and you do this in your day-to-day -day situation, say at the cashier or at the bank, uh, I'm not at the bank every day, but at the market, right? You will understand some of those words and it will help you to understand what native speakers are saying. Because that's the challenge. They don't speak like we learn in books, right? So I feel you, Lamont. Hope that helped. If you want clarification, leave a comment and ask me. Sadly, you're not in the most diverse place right now. I'm sorry, where do you live at Lamont right now? Well, I'm waiting for you to answer that question and I will get back to you. I'm gonna go back to what we covered in the live WeChat call in my Everyday Chinese group. One person asked, how do you tell the cab to wait a moment when you are say at a store and you want to hop out of the cab, get a drink in 7-Eleven and jump back in the cab because rush hour and you know if that cab disappears, you're out of luck. Um, is wait a moment. is wait a moment. Boondocks of Minnesota. What time is it? Is it like 7 a.m. Lamont? Thanks for watching. is wait a moment. Uh, if you take a nung and you put it after a ma and you wrap that around whatever you want to say, that's asking, right? Nung shao deng yi ma. Nung shao deng yi ma means can you wait a moment? You could also say nung bu nung. Uh, you've been learning Chinese for a bit. Yeah, so nung bu nung is how you say can you and you put that at the beginning of a sentence. Nung bu nung shao deng yi Can you wait for a moment. You can also take the kui, which means can, and add the ma, which is a question character. Kui ma. Uh, put that at the end of a sentence. Shao deng yisha, kui ma. Lamont, what other kind of questions do you have? There's three people watching, but you're the only one in the group chat. I didn't plan this, so next time I'll, I'll advertise. I'll make a video and say I'm going live soon. Uh, what else here was there? Captive audience, man. Lamont, what are you learning in Minnesota? The cool thing about this live WeChat call that I just got off of is that everyone in my WeChat group is here in China. And if you follow me on Instagram, the videos I make about Kwai Di or the series that I'm making right now about uh, Don't Take My Picture, that speaks to people who are here in China. They love it, but like you're watching from the States, so... What kind of question could I help you with from the States? Japanese, Chinese, and French, also animation. Man, you all over the place. But those are all cool things. I used to speak French. Uh, I worked in Paris for like five months total, back when I was in college. Best study abroad experience of my life. Um, though I love China, I had way more fun when I was in Paris. I'm having fun here too though, loving it. How can I help you out? You're here. Anybody else who's around chat, ask me something. I'm going to get off in about 10 minutes and get back to editing uh, my next YouTube video. Sorry. Yeah. Ouais, c'est dans. Vraiment. I really can't speak French anymore. You called me out. But um, let's see here. Déjà, ça fait, ça fait plus que 15 ans que je que que j'ai pas parlé français. All right, um, more than 15 years, 
I haven't spoken French. Ah, oh, it's horrible, but my Chinese is fluent. And that's what matters, because I'm in China. <sighs> so yeah, I mean, anything I can help you with? What book do you use, Lamont? I'm really curious. So back to this live WeChat call summary. What else were we talking about? Dun, 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 dun. I guess I already talked about it, so I'm gonna hop off. When did you think you were fluent in Chinese? Uh, okay, I studied full-time. Clarify for me, I'm just gonna talk. Uh, I studied full-time in Beijing, two years study abroad. So it's like 20 hours a week, 8 to 12, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, like 50 minute classes, listening, speaking, reading, and this class called Comprehensive, Songhe, Comprehensive Chinese, whatever that meant. Uh, later on, that turned to, into writing. I took Mandarin at the University of Washington for one year, so three quarters, uh, 101, 102, 103. Then I went that following, and that following fall to Beijing, China, where I studied abroad, like I said. And after, I'll say six months in China, I felt like I was good, not fluent, but good. Day-to-day -day Chinese was okay. Talking to people, I used to get so lost. Like there was this, uh, this Hui restaurant. The Hui would be like the Muslim minority here in China. And there's this guy, An Yang. He was my friend. Um, so we'd play ping pong together. Actually, we wouldn't really play. It was like I would lose because China and ping pong is kind of a thing. So his dad and his mom and even his grandma beat me at ping pong. That was embarrassing. Um, but fluent didn't really happen until probably a year after being in China. The thing you got to know is if you want to talk about fluency, like what does that even mean? I, I define fluency as being able to say what you need to say in the situation you need to say it and get the, the desired result. Um, so... If you're going to talk about being fluent, pick an area, pick, pick a topic, right? Like I studied linguistics in college. I hate it. Uh, I used to do downhill mountain, mountain biking and I love that. So am I fluent about talking about downhill mountain biking? Not quite because I don't do that anymore. Am I fluent when I talk about editing videos? Almost because I do read books about that. I love business and economics. Can I talk about business? You bet, I'm fluent in that area, but there's lots of areas I'm not fluent in. Everyday Chinese, fluent. Hope that helps. About a year and a half in China. Sheena, or Shana, Sheena or Shana, hey. Uh, reading, I'm trying to learn Chinese with the help of Google Trans, oh, that's difficult. But I easily forget what I learned and I'm afraid to say it. Where do you live? Oh, a year here in China. Why are you learning with Google Translate if you're here in China? Go outside and learn out there. After a year here, I know the struggle. The Chinese that we learn in books doesn't usually have anything to do with the Chinese that we learn or that we hear outside in the real world. But, I mean, my gosh, get outside and work the situations that happen to you the most often. I know you eat, so if you live in a, if, if, are you a college student, Sheena? If you live on a college campus, just pick a place that you like to go eat and make friends with people there and start learning the basic things that you need to say all the time. Um, yeah, it's kind of simple, it's kind of basic, and no, eating food doesn't translate into other stuff you need, I know, but hear me out. If you can start in one situation and get good in that situation, your confidence goes up, right? And with higher confidence, you're going to feel a little more brave, um, a little more bold to venture out into other circumstances that you're not that good at. So pick some place and learn it there. Practicing the tones, Sheena, I was talking to Lamont. I mean, you can look at sinosplice.com, S-I-N-O, sinosplice, S-I-N-O-S-P-L-I-C-E.com. Uh, they have a free tones 
practice thing. Yo Yo Chinese, I think, has some good tones videos on YouTube. Uh, there's this paid WeChat tool called Yoli, Y O L I, and it's WeChat tutoring. You know, they're they're phenomenal, but you got to pay for it, like most phenomenal phenomenal things. Um, practice the tones. You need feedback, okay, Sheena. Spend your time practicing the tones however you choose, but find someone to give you real feedback. Practice the tones in isolation. Go as quickly as you can to tones in pairs of two, right? And then after that, move to phrases and just get feedback. Anybody who you can get feedback from, practice the tones. Uh, that's it. I'm looking at my monitor, Sheena. I'm waiting for you to write something else to me. But you're not, so I'll go on. First tone, oh, how do you get resources to learn a bit more advanced Chinese? Well, Lamont, what do you want? It's either advanced, beginner, or intermediate. Not native level, not beginner or intermediate, so advanced. Uh, integrated Chinese, that's my favorite series. Um, get the advanced books. Lamont, are you in high school, college? I'm sure you're college. If you're in college, just go over to the Chinese department, ask TAs what books to find. Um, hop on Amazon. That's what I did. If you're better than intermediate, Lamont, it's time for you to just consume Chinese media. Get on WeChat, look in the video section of WeChat, and watch watch Chinese media. In one of my videos, How to Learn Chinese Faster, I talk, oh, that shelf looks ugly. <laughs> I talk about, um, or also when I interviewed Muhammad, the Egyptian, watch that video. Uh, you'll see him on there. It's How to Learn Chinese Fast. We talked about uh, watching Chinese variety shows, okay? If you're advanced, then watch those Chinese variety shows. The banter back and forth, it's like... If you looked at Jay Leno or any of these, like, or Saturday Night Live, a lot of the, okay, they talk, right? But to string along the conversation and keep it going, it's lots of, yeah, uh-huh, really? You don't say. Never would have thought. That kind of stuff. You can get that from Chinese variety shows. So if you want a resource to practice, consume that media. And the other benefit of that is they're communicating with each other. So, again, I talk about fluency as learning learning um, what to say in the situation you want to say it to get the response you want, right? So you just need to cue in to what people are saying, steal it from a variety shows, steal it from some TV shows. Luo Hun Shidai is a good one. Luo Hun Shidai, let me type that in here for you. Luo Hun Shidai means naked wedding. And before you get all crazy, on me, naked wedding in Chinese means that you're getting married without a job, or sorry, without a car, without a house, and you don't got a job. Those three things. If you don't got those, that's a naked wedding. It's an older series. I think it was like five years old uh, from today's date, which is 2018. But it's a good one. You can understand what they're saying. Uh, another one is Huma Malba. I think that's it. I can't type the tones fast enough, and since I'm live, I'll leave it there. But it's like Tiger Mom, Cat Dad. Uh, that's a decent one. Again, you're in the States. These Chinese shows are not terribly interesting. Some are more okay than others, um, but you'll be able to understand that one. Go to yoku.com. Sheena, jump back in if you need help. Go to yoku.com and search for those. Also, ITE. Dot com, come on keyboard, is where you can watch Chinese movies. Those will help. Yeah, Lamont, if you're advanced, just start consuming media. Start consuming media. Why? Because you already have the basic grammar structure, but you need to consume at scale, um, in large volume, the way Chinese people speak. You can get that by listening to media or watching media. Uh, let's see, I got another app on my phone. It's Chinese Podcasts. I'm not sure if it's available 
in the American store or not. But there you go. E Tapo. Hey, what's up? Say hi. Hopefully I said your screen name right. It's that one. It's called Lan Ren Ting Shu. And it's a Chinese podcasting app. There's tons of podcasts on there. Sorry, it's not super clear. Let me type this. Chulama. It's 8.30 p.m. Sorry, it's 8 p.m. I don't eat. I don't eat. I don't eat. I don't eat. I Sorry, again, I'm not going to be able to type the tones because I don't want to have you stare at me typing tones. I want to make sure I'm giving you some sort of value, but that's a Chinese podcast app. Lamont, check out that app. Not only do they have chi uh, po different podcasts on there, but they also have books, audio books, um, for free. I like free. Uh, check that out. I work in a hotel. How can I say? Oh, Huan Young. If you hear that, Sheena, everywhere they say Huan Young Guanling. Everywhere you go, Huan Young Guanling, Huan Young Guanling. Um, so if you just want to say the welcome part, welcome only. See, I told you I wouldn't type, and I'm typing right now. Okay, welcome. Yeah, I'm not gonna type anymore because I hate typing on screen and looking at my chin. <laughs> uh, yeah, itapo, ting shu. Yeah, well, it's ting shu. Listen to books. Ting shu. You can ting ren. You can ting shu. You can. Listen to whoever's talking. You guys. Oh, Sheena, was that a big deal for you? are welcome. That's what I'm here for. Sheena, you should add me on WeChat. And if you want, hop into my everyday Chinese WeChat group. Same Shameless plug, because it's a paid group. But I bring it in there. Like, every day we're talking about useful Chinese. We do a live call tonight, Tuesday night. And... Um, I put in videos, if you like my videos, I do lots of videos for my day-to-day -day life and put those in the group and give you transcripts and that's how I help out. So you guys, uh, there's no likes. Am I bringing value? Can you hit that like button? Because it really helps me in YouTube world. And if somebody likes the video, I think I will have to go live again. I want you guys to take care. One like, thank you so much. I want you guys to take care. Um, just practice every day. If you don't practice a lot, remember that if you practice in little bits every day, you will get better. Focus on the things you like if you're not in class and getting a grade doesn't matter to you. Focus on what you like. Don't listen to anybody, especially somebody who's Chinese and says, oh, you need to learn characters right away. If characters demotivates you and makes you want to slam your head against the wall, then don't learn characters right away. You feel me? Learn what you like. Learn what gets you the results. That's why I keep saying everyday Chinese. Because it's easy. There's lots of easy wins there. Go and do all those easy things. And you know what? Your motivation will stay higher longer. And so two years from now, you'll be like Lamont. Advanced. And able to do more of the fun stuff. Wogela niiga like her? You table? What is like, huh? Oh, like. Oh, like. That's 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 cool. Here, let me let me leave you with something. Dianzan is the word for like on Dianzan is uh, the word for like on social media. Oops, midi da. Merry Christmas, Dianzan. Din zan is, uh, so if you're like, lai ge din zan, lai means come, right, come here. So lai ge din zan is this one. Itaipo, if you're here in China and um, 
you say that, it'll make people laugh. And you know what else will make someone laugh? If you say, chopping. Because I like to make people laugh. And that's a bad rating, right? Because cha means bad. How is good. Cha is bad. So if you're like, well, gay nigga, I'll give you a chopping. Well, that's a bad rating. Um, say that like when you're getting out of the cab and like a cab driver asks you to give him a five star rating, say that and then laugh and then say, Kyle and Shao, I'm joking. You know, um, you just, 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 just mess around. You, you can figure this stuff out. Guys, I gotta get off. It's already been like half an hour. I will be back. If you want, say hi on Instagram. It's elementary Chinese. Or, well, say hi on my next video. I do look at the comments, so if you leave a comment on a video, I will answer it, and I can answer questions there. Um, have a good night, or Lamont in your case, good morning. Thanks for watching like the whole live broadcast. Take care, study. This is Quajo Elementary Chinese. Good, good study. Day, day up. Later.